Now, I want to get to some more serious news. Very unfortunate. The Magic announced last night that forward Jonathan Isaac tore his left ACL against the Kings. Mm. Isaac suffered the injury in the fourth <clears throat> quarter, immediately falling to the floor, clutching his knee. It, it was only his second game back since he hyperextended his left knee on January 1st. Mm. He thanked everyone for their positive wishes on Twitter today, so that is something I know he will work hard to get back from. And it, it's been quite a few days, guys, for Isaac. This is not related to the injury at all, but on Friday, Isaac got attention for choosing not to kneel in unison with his teammates during the national anthem or to wear a Black Lives Matter shirt. Myers Leonard also chose to stand for the anthem on Saturday. Uh, Perk, if either of these guys was your teammate, how would you handle that? Well, I mean, as <clears throat> long as I know where their heart is, Rachel, I always said this time and time again, even on this show, that you can't tell someone how to fight the fight. long as they're fighting the same fight you are, you can't tell a person how to make a stance. But as long as you know where their heart is, I have no problem with it. At the end of the day, as long as they believe, they believe in the same thing that I'm, I'm believing in, they could do however, go around, go around whatever they want to go about doing things. I wouldn't have a problem with it at all. <clears throat> I'm not I'm not really quite sure how I react, but the thing is when I look at it as a teammate, I just wish we would do things in unity. And I'm sure they had this discussion before it all went down, but as a teammate, you know, I just wish we can always do things in unity. It's almost like when you come to that huddle and we all used to put our fists in, if it was that one guy standing out, I'd be like, you know, come on, bring it in. But uh, you know, I don't know what the reasoning behind the guys that stood up. I just wish we all do it in unity because it looks like we're all together. You know, the NBA is one big fraternity. And so, mm. and especially within your team. So, you know, there has to be some discussions going on on why you chose to stand, but I don't know those reasons. And so, but I just wish things was done in unity. Is it the type of thing that could cause friction in a locker room over time? Or do you think that guys, as long as they feel they know what the, that player's deal is, they'll be fine going forward? No, no, well, no. It's not going to be none of that. Cause this is small things because there's bigger <clears throat> fish to fry out here. You know, as far as players using their platform uh, for what's right and players using their platform to, to get their message out. So I don't think it's something that will be talked about and then we move on from it. Yeah, you're right, Pete. But but the thing is, you want to know why. And I'm pretty sure he explained to everyone why in the locker room, and they was okay with it. But like Paul said, it's really not a good look when you see it, all your teammates and coaches doing one thing and you're doing another. You you know, you kind of look standoffish. And P is right. It's just like getting in the huddle and putting your fists in there and you had that one guy who just – standing in the back of the huddle and not really all in. Not saying that he isn't, but it's just not a good look for what we're trying to stand for. And he's right. We are a fraternity and we are a brotherhood. Well, to your point, guys, both of you, both of those young men talked about how they wanted to support the cause in different ways. Myers Leonard in particular talking about his family in the military who felt that kneeling during the anthem represented something different and that he wanted to pay tribute to both things by wearing the shirt but also standing for the anthem. And Perk, to your point, I guess the guys seem okay with it and, and they will move forward from there as one unit.